Hey, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking an even more in-depth look at AI image generation locally using the Focus or Focus software. If you're not familiar with that, uh, it is a, a version of Stable Diffusion, uh, which basically is kind of like mid-journey in that you just put in some simple prompts. It gives you great looking results, has dozens and dozens of styles built in. It's really the easiest way to generate stuff with Stable Diffusion. Uh, if you don't want to have to dig into the weeds and set up all these different parameters and stuff uh, that you can do under other uh, versions of Stable Diffusion out there. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you don't have it installed already, it does require Windows and an NVIDIA graphics card with at least four gigs of uh, VRAM on the GPU. Uh, however, the uh, full instructions on installing it are in my last video, which I'll link in the description down below. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with some of these advanced features. Now, in order to run Focus, you just run this uh, run.bat right here. Just double click on that. Uh, and away we will go. There we go. So it's already ahead and launched up and it's automatically launched a web browser and pointed us to the user interface. Now, last time we took a look at the advanced features and this is where you can uh, set the uh, size of the image, uh, the number of images it generates because it's a really highly creative process. You may not like some of the images it makes. And so of course you generally set this to two or four or something like that to generate multiple images. So you have you know options to pick from. There are also styles over here and again dozens and dozens of styles So, you know if you want to uh, generate something that's in steampunk style. No problem. You want medieval. No problem logos. No problem uh, Nolene photography if you're not familiar with Nolene, it's basically where people lay out in a very organized way uh, You know things like their craft projects or whatever or tools and things like that uh, If you ever want to have some fun and you don't know what Nolene is just click on Nolene photography and type in any prompt uh, that you like basically. Uh, and by default, it has got the uh, Focus version 2 here. This is kind of a uh, automatic uh, uh, text uh, expander. Uh, so it basically puts in a lot of the keywords that produces good images for you. Uh, and then the style is this slightly cinematic. Okay, and over here we also have the advanced uh, functions where you can add in your Lauras and stuff like that. Uh, last time we added in a Laura for Emma Watson and created Emma Watson as Link. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, look at the actual features we're going to talk about today, though, and that is our input image, and it's down here in the lower left hand corner. So I'm going to uh, click on that. And here is the little box for uploaded image. Uh, and we have two tabs here. We have upscale or variation and in paint or out paint. By the way, uh, upscale or variation uh, is basically what they uh, oftentimes on other websites, for example, like services like uh, Leonardo AI, they'll call image to image. Uh, and they will also oftentimes have in paint and out paint. Uh, so even if you're using a different flavor of stable diffusion or even some totally different service, you're going to find these same terms and they basically work the same way. So this is good stuff to learn, even if you're not going to be using this software. So uh, let's go ahead and get started here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, load an image in here and we'll load in this kind of like simple Santa character right here. And uh, what we're going to uh, do is we're going to do a variation here. Now you can do subtle variation. I find it changes it very little. So I'm going to do a strong variation. Uh, now we also have upscale down here, uh, uh, by the way, which you can upscale 1.5, 2, uh, and 2x. And this is AI upscaling. Uh, and you can, so you can really increase the, uh, you know, kind of image quality, if you will, of these images and get them up to, you know, like more 4K standard, basically. Uh, so that's really handy, but we're not really going to do the upscaling today. It's, you know, it's pretty obvious what it does. Uh, instead, we're going to look at the variation here. So I'm going to set it on very strong. And by the way, the styles over here influence how this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn those two off and I'm going to scroll down. Um, and this is where I wish that they had sorted these by by name and because I've already gone past it and we are going to find it here. Uh, let's do miscellaneous horror. Right there. And so I'm going to come over here. 
and I'm going to type in uh, zombie Santa. All right, and we're going to hit generate. By the way, over here in my settings, I have it set to generate two images. So it's going to generate two images. And we'll be back as soon as it's done generating. Okay, it's done. And we got our two zombie Santas over here. What you may uh, notice, though, is it's kind of cut the picture off on the top and the bottom. Uh, and so here's our original down here. Now you can see, of course, they're heavily inspired, right? The arms up and everything. And so, you know, it's a similar picture. It's a variation. Uh, but let's fix this uh, image uh, uh, issue with the... Uh, with the uh, scaling basically. Uh, our image is a little more on the square side. Uh, and so let's pick uh, 1024 by 1024. And again, you basically just want to kind of match the, uh, you know, whatever kind of landscape or portrait size your image is roughly. And let's go ahead and generate that again. And once again, we'll be back as soon as it's done. There we go. Now it's uh, done a much better job of matching the aspect ratio of the picture. So we've got all of our Santas in here. Uh, and again, you know, they're highly inspired by our original Happy Santa down here, but just zombified. So uh, that is basically uh, what they call variations or a lot of places will call image to image. Now, uh, if we want to get uh, rid of this, we can, uh, by the way, just clear the image out right there. And let's go ahead and load in a different image uh, and let's uh, bring in this uh, nice little uh, post-apocalyptic uh, puppy here. Uh, and this time though, we're going to go to the in-paint or out-paint feature. Now what uh, out-paint is, is it adds image on the sides or top and bottom if you want uh, to extend this picture. Uh, this picture is basically kind of a square aspect ratio, but let's say we want something closer to 16 by nine or 16 by 10. Uh, what, what we can do is we can extend this and we're gonna go uh, left and right, which is gonna be the left side and of course the right side. We could also do top and bottom if we wish. Uh, and what we need to do though is come over here and make sure our style matches or at least turn off all the styles otherwise you're you know going to get uh, you know pokemon inspired edges uh, which is not what we want uh, however you also get to type in a prompt here uh, if i left it at zombie santa it might well put a zombie santa over here or like an old moldy uh, christmas present or something like that uh, in fact just for fun I am going to put uh, Christmas here, uh, and let's find an appropriate style though. Let's uh, let's see if we can find something a little uh, post-apocalyptic, or at least uh, let's do uh, let's do grunge maybe. Let's see how that works out. All right. Oh, there's dystopian. Hang on, hang on. Let's do dystopian instead of grunge. All right. I like that better. All right. Uh, but it's going to be uh, Christmas themed here. So let's go ahead and hit generate. Well, there we go. Here's our images. And I really didn't get any Christmas in here. We, But you notice it did extend out the buildings. If you remember in the original picture, our picture ended right here with this tall building and just past this lamppost. And of course, we've got this additional kind of seamless extension uh, what we were going for there. It could be that the uh, dystopian was a little too strong for Christmas here. I'm going to turn all off everything here, and I'm going to leave Christmas in there. And let's just hit generate again and see if we can get a little bit of Christmas into our post-apocalyptic puppy picture. Well, there we go. I think the AI struggle a little bit, tried to fit Christmas into a post-apocalyptic picture, uh, but you know, hey, it's it's trying its best there. These also kind of looking very cartoony. We'd probably want to pick a different style over here. But as you can see, that's the styles over here and the prompt both influence the image that you get. So just for kind of remember that. Just don't leave these set to random things. So that is out painting. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, clear our little puppy picture there. And we're going to load in a different one. Let's go ahead and bring in this... Uh, 
uh, I right here. And now we're going to be doing in painting. Now in painting uses this little white circular brush right here. And there's a few tools, by the way, uh, you know, you've got undo, you've got clear and stuff like that. Uh, and then you've got the, the use brush and you can make the size different sizes. Uh, but we're gonna leave it about that size. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to uh, roughly kind of paint in the area that I want to, oops, I want to completely regenerate in this image. So we're just going to mark out all of the area that I want to be regenerated. And we'll just fill in the rest of the eye here with my incredibly limited painting skills. And there we go. Now uh, let's come over here and notice the eye currently is brown. So I'm just going to type in uh, blue, blue eyes and uh, we don't have any uh, themes turned on right now, I don't believe. No, it looks like it. And let's go ahead and hit generate. There we go. And it's replaced our eye with some uh, blue eyes, brown eyes with blue eyes. Uh, this one's really kind of freaky and ugly looking, and this one's not too bad, actually. You notice since we still had our left and right out paints turned on is to actually added the second half of the face and the second eye over here. Let's go ahead and turn those off for now. Uh, and let's do one more, one last example. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to find miscellaneous horror. And instead of blue eyes, let's say that, uh, how about demon eyes? Let's, let's see if that works out. And there we go. We definitely have some weird looking eyeballs here. Here's our couple of demon eyes. All right. Not too bad of a job there. And you notice it kind of kept the same kind of art style looks like roughly. Uh, so so a pretty good job on that. So that's it for today. We basically have covered variation or image to image as most folks uh, call it. Uh, also too, we've also covered out painting, which is the outside parts here and in painting where we replace part of the picture uh, inside the old current drawing. Uh, and that's it. So hopefully, uh, certainly hope you learned something new today. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And until next time, I will talk to you later.